not so 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 I'm just gonna go with what I am still more um, that that view that I'm still more ingrained in and that I can sort of justify and is better. He a person? Yeah, he is. He's a he's a solo scripter, right? but because I follow a very like it's not I'm not as much as a sectarian. Like, it's like I'm sort of more over to that because sectarianism, as when the anathemas were gotten rid of, you know, it's like that's that's the doors to ecumenicalistic theology has been opened, but. As a result of that, I look, when I knew it was Christ, I didn't know what to do, right? I didn't know where to find Christ. And I, I went to a local Af Anglican church. I couldn't find it there. But then when I started looking at the religion of Abraham and Moses, where they, they would worship with a priesthood, a liturgy, with incense, with... Um, they had a, the Mel Melchizedek, sorry. That's what I wanted to bring up. Abraham's Melchizedek. That's a priest, right? We know that he worked, worshipped in a temple with an altar and blood sacrifice for sin. Yeah, sure. And that Melchizedekian priesthood is something intrinsic to Second Temple Judaism and something that if Islam was to be the continuation of that, it doesn't seem at all logical why it would drop every single principle that I've mentioned there. Why would there be no liturgy? Why would there be no priesthood? Why would there be no... Um, temple worship why would there be no blood um, blood sacrifice for sin because that's something that that can't necessarily change because if it is one way then it is one way sure. it's really good you asked me that question because um, I'm, I'm not too familiar with all of these Old Testament yeah. practices but I have a really good book I can give to you if you want yeah, that's it's fine. about exactly this so it's about it's written by a rabbi called Rabbi Ben Yeh Abrahamson oh, yeah. and he talks about the similarities and the linkage of a lot of the Islamic tradition to mm. the Old Testament traditions, mm -hmm. like what you're yeah. saying there, the priesthood, the liturgy, and how a lot of this is reflected in Islam. So is for example, yeah, right. Sorry, I was going to mention, is, when you say that, is, is it like a drawing on like a similarities? So like we don't actually have a priesthood, but we have something similar, like a, a structure X yeah, yeah, or... Yeah, sure, sure. Because, yeah, and, but, um, that's yeah like for example, even in the... Um, when Solomon's temple was around, mm -hmm. um, you had the Holy of Holies, right? Right. The mm -hmm. center of the temple. And what would happen is... Like in the tabernacle? In the tabernacle, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the building of the tabernacle, Jewish, the Jews would form circumman, circum, circumambulation of that tabernacle. So they would I mean, that is a rotate common, around... That the, is a common practice, though, of, of other pagan... Like, to say pagan religions, because it just means country folk sure, religions. Sure. It's a Roman term. A Greek term, um, but it it that was it, just one thing. I was yeah, the the, the 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 sort of we call it going, off and yeah, stuff. going around these um these objects is yeah. is a thing that's in, found in earlier pagan. But like seven times anti-clockwise. I don't think that's so common. Maybe seven like times the fact that that was done exactly the same way. But also, could that be a copy tradition? If we were to presuppose that the Quran was not actually revelation of Allah, then and it was actually written by Muhammad, who we know was sent to the people of the book. Therefore, he had the ability to copy a scripture. All right? If he was not illiterate, under this presupposition, we have to admit that that could be copied because it's not something hidden in a box. Sure. I just, I thought the second temple was destroyed in the second temple, you know, like yeah, but at the, the, the end of the, 70 AD. And but what it's built up on? Yeah, but sure, sure. You could, Other than the oral I, tradition. I was giving one yeah. example, right, of like uh, similarities it. with the Old Testament tradition. Yeah. Um, with, yeah, um, there's there's a lot of linkages there in that book, which we uh, I'm mm. happy to give to you. Yeah, to explore later. and the, the, my question is as well, like, does Abraham necessarily do that? Does he so we as Muslims in the Quran, it says to say to the Jews and to the Christians, we are the religion of Abraham. So mm. if you that's, really that's, want to connect yeah. with the religion of Abraham, um, I propose to you Islam is the religion of Abraham. But that, Islam, that's my point. Because Abraham couldn't have been a Jew, right? He couldn't have been a Christian because uh, according to you, Christ came after Abraham, right? So how can he be a follower of someone who came after? Well, and he Christ wouldn't have understood. Before Abraham was born, I am. Yeah, sure, but I'm talking. We're talking about yeah. Abraham here. So Abraham wouldn't have had this understanding of the Trinity and of these. Um, even like, for example, William Lane Craig talks about he's how a heretic. there is no. He's a, okay, he's a heretic. Yeah, he's a heretic. Okay, but I'm saying um, it, the way if you look at the Old Testament, there's no indication of Abraham. Al Islam having a um, having a conceptualization of the Trinity as his understanding of the true God. Um, a lot of Christians, even if not William Lane Craig, I'm sure you would agree in the Eastern Orthodox tradition maybe as well. There's, um, lot, there's yeah. traditions of Christians recognizing that the Trinity was a later revelation in a way, a, a more refined revelation by God. Can I add to that? Sure. The, that the, 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 the idea of the Trinity is 
it's not as as a lot of people demand where showing me where it's no, 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 trinity no, 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 yeah i know and the just for, for sort of viewership this is the people watching they they might not know that it's a thing that was not created but rather something that we had formed out of scripture because that's what scripture said so it's it's taking the whole scope of scripture and then when that is applied what comes out is the trinity and in doing so in giving that wholeness of scripture right we're taking that wholeness of scripture and not just looking at one aspect of perhaps um the divine nature no we're looking at now the the the, set, the distinctions within the personhoods and obviously even with the relation to the father there's true distinctions and real distinctions there and we we base it fully on scripture and if it was if it was not the case then there would be many um, Christians. Yeah. So what I'm saying is Abraham. We're talking about Abraham and Islam. Yeah. I'm not talking about like yeah, yeah. Christian tradition. You're saying Trinity is based on scripture, sure. Yeah. But I'm saying in the Old Testament, you can't see that. But you can't. You can't definitively tell me that Abraham saw the Trinity yeah. and he. It's all three men. The Trinity. It's all three men. We're, 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 is, we're that the enough, three, is that the, enough for you to justify well, that he worshipped the no, Trinity? No, but this is a good point to bring up. But there was three men that appeared in front of him, and he literally says that he believes he was looking at God. And he believe, and the, the the scripture is literally when they're saying it's interchanging between God said and they said, yeah. so that is a manifestation of God, whether we like it or not. God could manifest in three persons for whatever reason, but it is a manifestation of God, and we know yeah, that God like, can manifest like say, the, 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 yeah. the the fire in the the bush, the burning bush, right? I'm not saying that God is a burning bush, but the, I think the three nothing god nothing god does is arbitrary so i think that could he could have planted it to be that exact way three men because it's not much of a changing or defining factor just for us now yeah. to link back no, to I, we're kind of going off the point but i'll just quickly yeah. point, I'll just address this before we get back to the point um so like god also talks about moses in the old testament being elohim right so he i will make you elohim amongst these people in a specific part of the but old you know testament. what elohim is so, used for so, there's, there's, there's lowercase gods God. There's, 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 there's lower case gods, gods in the Old Testament. Yes, okay. and that refers to angels. Angels were Elohim. They were literally the same yeah, word. Yeah, that and kind of fits with my understanding. There's a that plurality in it. I believe, in it, I believe yeah. like the Old Testament is not inherently monotheistic. I believe there's been so much influence of it from neighboring civilizations that it has turned into a form of um, but polytheism, I guess, where I, you know that we I have our god mean. and other civilizations well, like you, have their god. You believe gods there's a Greek, Greek sort of because it, that would be Greco-Roman sort of influence because of the nature of well, the Greece was the center and of Persian it. Persian influence. Yeah, yeah. And especially, a lot of people bring up Greece because of the connection to yeah. New Testament, like the um, New Testament era, and obviously the Roman Empire. All right, but it's the, the use of Elohim, right? It's 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 a it's. It's a it's a really weird one because we don't have a good word for it in English essentially because it's like even the name in itself is plural it's like very pl it's a plural name it means like three doesn't it Ela it's Ela means no, one it, God and then I'm not it's too well versed in Hebrew but I think it's a royal we yes it's, it's not, something it's, it's, yeah no no it's, it's about but that's one what I'm trying figure. to say is that, that it's, it, people can twist that word to to actually try and say that no it's saying three so it's affirming the Trinity but. But that's what I'm saying. What? There's a misuse on our side yeah. for some people. Because I'm not saying all Christians do this, and most Christians do not do this. And sure. if they did, they would probably call. If someone else was doing it, they'd probably call it out. Like if I saw someone doing that, I'd call it out because I know it's a weak argument and it doesn't actually have any ground. But my point is, is that lowercase gods is, it's, it's because it is this. The word's different. It's it's not describing the divine. It's not describing the Almighty because we don't just use especially in the old testament the word god to refer to god but we use his name which he gave to moses which is yahweh which is a, a name that's actually in the names yeah. of elijah which is a name in the quran so the quran affirms that god's name is yahweh intrinsically intrinsically because those hebrew names had those meanings there is no debate that, that these 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 names were this like We're, my I'm name happy, means I'm, X. Happy to, I'm happy to move yeah. on to this topic i oh, just just to wrap up the first topic you mentioned yeah, about the religion point, of yeah. abraham um yeah i'm appealing to you to like mm. Look at Islam because Islam is the religion of Abraham. Clearly, in the Quran, it says Muslims, the believers, are the religion of Abraham. Um, Abraham couldn't have been a Jew because the Jewish traditions and these temple traditions you're talking about and the priesthood and all of this developed way later in his Melchizedek. In his in his answer, in his descendancies, it developed way later. He couldn't have been a Christian because you're saying it's evolved. The figure of, I'm saying I'm saying what was the religion of Abraham? It was he couldn't have been a Jew and he couldn't have been a but Christian. But we know it through the we, What we know he was was he was a submitter to the will of God, right? 
Do we agree? And but Islam if you affirm is that about that, God. if you, you only know that like histor historically yeah. because of the Torah, because Not because if the no, Quran no, we, we just said that. it, we then know that because the Quran yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But look, look, yeah, but that's that's yeah. that would be circular reasoning because then well, you're, you're saying, saying no because. You, the difference is, is I'm not trying to justify it via the Torah. I'm actually trying to say that if you're trying to justify one historical point without using Quranic circular reasoning, you can't justify essentially by saying, okay, we know that Abraham is what, like, um, is, is a Muslim. He submits to the will of God via the Quran, and what that, that proves. Let me let me let me, explain, let me explain to you what I mean. So there's a figure who was a prophet according to Islam, right. and there is traditions of him talking about him prior to the revelation of God through the Quran, right? So this tradition and through previous revelations. Um, such like, as? Such as the Zabur and the, um, sorry, not the Zabur, um, such as the Torah, right? So what I'm saying so is- So you're using the Torah, but you can't cherry pick from yeah, but the Torah. What the Torah, the Torah that we Muslims affirm and, you and can't that say we Muslims changed. believe is not the Torah that you guys have now. And is there evidence for this? And yes. I'm not arguing from silence. Yeah. I'm, I'm merely stating, is there any foundational evidence not just actually not just a manuscript i don't not even that i'm saying is there any valid sort of like because you, you could you could sort of see if this culture has done x right yeah. then we know that they can do x again so if they are corrupting these scriptures have you any proof that they've corrupted scripture yeah. like this i do and what is this proof i do so do you affirm that um deuteronomy was written by moses right Yes, he's in the, okay. the Pentateuch. Sure, just give me one second. Yeah. Okay, so Deuteronomy. Okay, so Deuteronomy is written by Moses. What translation of the Bible do you go by? Uh, usually RSV because it's RSV. like okay, sort of a. Um, it's like the one that you get bashed for the least because it's sort of a like the one that scholars will use because it's very mid ground. Bit. Okay, so you are affirming that Deuteronomy was written by Moses, right? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so this is in Deuteronomy. And by the way, it wouldn't make it wouldn't make it in 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 essence it, it wouldn't make it completely. Um, the reason, well, the reason it doesn't matter who authored it because Jesus Christ. He did oh, no, himself. No, he did. Now. He you're did quote it. So therefore, he affirms it's God's word. He affirms Wait, that. Because just now you affirmed that. But yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I do hold okay, to that. I do okay, hold okay, to okay. that. I'm just saying okay, extra. So Deuteronomy 34. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, uh, chapter 34, verse five. Then Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, at the Lord's command. He buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, but no one knows his burial place to this day. How can Moses write his own death? Wait, sorry. Did, I can, hang I can on, yeah, no, sorry, that's, that's tripping up. I need to look that up, because I, I, I sure. think I've spoken a bit throughout my death, in that regard. So it's uh, Deuteronomy 34? De you know, I'm just going to look up Deuteronomy's authorship, because I know it's in the scrolls of Moses, but that would be just then again, it would just be a Jewish error. Um, and we affirm that Jew, uh, the Jews can have errors because the Pharisee and Pharisaic, Pharisaic tradition and the oral tradition had well, errors so, so, which Jesus called out. Well, let me get this right. So the Old Testament can have errors in it. Hang on, delivered. Oh, there we go. The book consists of three sermons or speeches delivered to the Israelites by Moses on the plain of Moab. Right. I need to get better on my authorship. I spent too much time on theology and uh, just while you're finding that, um, did you say that the Old Testament can have errors? What do you mean? Textual variants. You can the Old Testament can have textual variants and it can have errors. In what regard? Like I mean like in, if, in a non contradictory if, if, to the to the to the principle of the the faith. Yeah. And because for me, we, the principle of the faith is copy. Deuteronomy was revealed by Moses, right? That's a ma massive principle of the faith, that yeah, Deuteronomy yeah, was revealed by Moses. It's about Moses. the speeches of Moses. Yeah, but it's also about so the authorship it's, it's, of Moses. Therefore, like when I say the Quran was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means all of the Quran is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's word, right? I'm affirming that. Your, that is the principle of my faith. Like, but that our, is a our key views thing on what Quran. scripture is is very different because we believe in, in authorship plus inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so I'm asking, can the Old Testament have a mistake like this? 
but yes, because we affirm authorship. But the difference and the point is, is it, it vastly depends on what you are arguing. Okay, but then why in um, Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5 it says every word of God is flawless by the way I don't affirm sola scriptura so this is this for me is like okay. I, I, I'm talking out my depth in that if I don't know okay what. no we don't have to go we don't have to go there yeah but what, what is that quote I don't mind yeah so I don't mind Proverbs it? you want it in RSV, right? shot. RSV every word of, okay so it says all scripture all every word of God is flawless every word of God proves true there's various translations so if every word of God if you affirm the Bible is the word of God and you're saying it has mistakes, then how can you affirm Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5? Right, this is this is it. Right, prior to his death, Moses transcribed his collection of speeches and gave it to the Levitical priests. This when I said that his speeches of Moses, I did I did clock him ahead. This, this there must be some sort of hero X, right? It's like how the New Testament, right, it will or the gospels will speak about that which Jesus preached right which is repent for the kingdom of heaven has come is, is at hand okay. and it's also telling you about the life of jesus so it tells us about the death and resurrection of jesus christ but we still believe obviously it's a we can still say it's written by jesus christ because it's inspired by the holy spirit but this is why when you say in this this is proverbs what sorry i, I proverbs, don't want to misquote chapter 30 verse 5 30 verse 5 so that mo the, the one about Deuteronomy, all right, that's just from my lack of understanding. But now that I have been given an understanding because I do not follow Sc Sola Scriptura. Okay. And so every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do you know what book this is in? It's in Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs. Proverbs. Yeah. Proverbs is, is inherently renowned for being completely metaphorical. Or at least not, I wouldn't say completely metaphorical. I'd just say very metaphorical. The wisdom of, it's the... It doesn't sound very metaphorical, like every word of God is but, flawless. But I would actually justify it in another way, okay. right? I, I'm just saying that. Well, but I would just, yeah, I would justify because it is because it's inspired by the Holy Spirit and it's affirmed by Jesus Christ that it is the word of God. But what is the word of God? I could take a Bible, right? I could take this Bible I got in my bag, right? It's a perfectly good Bible. I could take it and I could replace the name Jesus with. Um, Muhammad and now apparently I've got the New Testament of Muhammad do you understand what I mean is that we have an authorship and inspiration what is inspired by the Holy Spirit and what is transcribed by people copying all right this is why you have things at least a lot of people I think there's free theories on this but there's um the Chronicles you know there's the Chronicles and um, and the other book but and it's and it's saying that um, he came king at 21 and then 40 uh, 22 and then 42 right that you see the letters of like they're almost identical two and four so we understand that at least in some schools of thought to be perhaps a scribal error but we do affirm that scribal errors can be can be present what because about? because i can write against i can i can write in my own will a new bible that's what the that's what the mormons do that's what the jehovah's okay, okay, witness okay, okay. do do you understand um, okay, what I mean? So what about scientific errors? Can there be scientific errors in the Bible? Because the science, because the Bible firstly isn't a science book. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm just like, trying if to you, understand did how, you see Bob, how much, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I agree, yeah, yeah probably see my discussion. Look, I can say scientific, so what about the, um, the, there's the embryos, that's completely, yeah. ro, ro, that's completely, whatever, whatever, I'm not too in the Quran, with... in the Quran there's the embryos, that yeah. embryologists, like actual embryologists have said, no, that's bullshit, the bones don't come before the flesh, because they don't. Well, we don't. We but don't. that's what the Quran says. That, you see what I'm saying? No, no, it's but like, there's different interpretations that's, of that specific one. I can, so can, I, I, can, I, can about, so I can do that no, no, as well. No, no, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I don't. My my faith is in the Quran. I hold by the Quran yes. in every word, right? So I, whatever science says, it doesn't disprove the Quran. I either the science will catch up later with what the Quran says, or we don't look at the Quran as in the light of science, but right? You're, so what, can, you, can you let me speak? Yeah, I'll let you speak. Yeah, yeah, it's time, fine, right? yeah it's okay. Okay. okay, so the Quran. We don't see it as a book of science. We see it in, it's a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It supersedes all other evidences that are provided. We put our faith in the Quran. The way it talks about a lot of these things, um, the problem is some Muslims, they try to look at every passage in the Quran through a scientific lens, which is inaccurate because the Quran does contain metaphors and symbolism. But you're talking about embryology. Sure, sure. Directly. But, 
Well, yeah, yeah, but like I'm saying, I'm saying that a lot of it can be poetic. A lot of it can be also in the it terms of... It doesn't sound of, poetic that the bones are coming before the flesh. That's my point. There's, I, I haven't looked into this specific one, but I'm happy to address any yeah. other scientific errors it's, that you have. Like if you want to men mention any other one. The thing is, is, but, is no, because, but, no, because no, the mainstream, on, because on, like, on, people on, like Ali Darwal would say yeah, the scientific not, miracles have been look, debunked, I'm, I'm, right? I have a science background, okay? Yeah, yeah. I've I done my university education was in science. Yeah. I have not made that argument. Whatever yeah, these course. people say, and also, Ali Darwal, he said it was it's debunked. Incorrect. He said it was debunked. I don't want to, I don't want to attack my brother or anything. Of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I understand, but like, science, you don't, you can't say something doesn't like science can be also basic things, right? Like basically. Um, like for example, trees existing on Earth, that is a scientific statement to an alien, right? I'm just giving in, an example. Like in what science, regard? I don't, I don't like, know what it's going. Let's, okay, I, like, lost, let's not go there, let's not go there, let's not yeah, go there. Okay, okay. What I'm saying is, you. okay, so you're saying, is it fair for me to look at the Bible? I'm opening the first page of the Bible, mm. right? It it's, says trees came before fish. You know, what the, you know what the difference is though? It is, but the difference is, is that the, the method, the, we're, that, the standard you're trying Wait, to hold the stand, Bible to. Are you going to stand behind no, page one of the Bible, I'm gonna, which says the trees came before fish? If we look at the geological record, fish came before trees. Are you going to stand by page one of the Bible, or are you going to say page one of the Bible? So I don't know. I don't, wait, hang on. I don't know what you mean. So yeah. what? So you want? So you want talk. me to affirm? Yeah, but, yeah, but this no, is, this is saying, because I'm I don't want to move on to this. Correct. You can say it afterwards. I just want to just yeah. want to get this in so it's in there. Do you know? So what I'm saying is this, the difference is the standard you're holding it against. So you you believe that the Quran is a revelation from Allah. It is the word yeah. of Allah. But we believe that we on well, our Bible is inspired by the Holy Spirit. But we, we also, because you, you mean, I don't know if you say it, but a lot of the, the Muslims will say that the words of Allah cannot be changed, all right? And if someone was to, I could write a false Quran right now, but it doesn't change the words that come out of Allah's mouth. No, no, I'm, I'm Do you understand what I mean though? It doesn't change the words. I'm, if I write a false Quran, it's not going into Allah's mouth and changing the words. It's the same thing as if someone's written a scribally like a scribal error within the text right which happens okay and if someone no, it, has it, well, it, forget scribal errors okay there's um, references in the old testament to a period of um Egypt, ancient Egyptian kingdoms, right? It's a period, it's don't do, to the, don't do the Pharaoh thing and the king thing because yeah, yeah. it's an interchangeable thing. Ki Pharaoh and king is an interchangeable it's thing. It's not an interchangeable if you, thing. If you, if no, you're no, going to no, reply the religious, if you're going to reply the, the religious de deity of Pharaoh, no, no, you, right? Look, when I speak, you start over talking yeah, yeah. me. I let you speak, right? That's fine. Okay, yeah, no, you're so right. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, when there's a period in Egyptian history where there was kings and not pharaohs. Pharaohs were a later development in but Egyptian pharaohs monarchy. Are kings. Yeah, but I'm saying there was a period in Egyptian, ancient Egyptian history where they were referred to as kings and not pharaohs. Pharaohs became a thing after, okay? So I'm what, saying the Bible, when it's referring to a specific period in ancient Egyptian history, when there would have been kings and not pharaohs, right? It calls that person a pharaoh. I've seen this before. So, so why is it making a mistake? Because that's not a scribal error. But that is saying that there's a Jeff time Paul before... Can I, can Sorry, I, I was just saying... Yeah. Okay. There, there was a period in ancient Egyptian history before pharaohs where the leaders of Egypt were called kings and the Bible is calling them a pharaoh and interestingly in the Quran it does refer to that period the leader of that period as a king so if you're going to say the Quran copies off the Old Testament why is it correcting the Old Testament Firstly, why is the Quran well, actually, why is the Quran referring correctly to that figurehead as a king do you speak Arabic and, uh, very minor yeah. do you know what the word for pharaoh, for pharaoh is pharaoh. pharaoh in Arabic right pharaoh, yeah. okay so if you're going to say that because uh, if you're going to apply it, what actually, sure. what are you applying to the term pharaoh? Because if you're saying there's no, there wasn't pharaohs, there was kings, or are you talking about the ancient Egyptian di dynasties? Are you talking about specifically the heritage, the dynasties, the dynasties that came like? No, I'm talking about ended. a specific figure. I think it's at the time of Joshua. Um, no, not Joshua. Can't remember exactly when, but it refers to in the Quran. It refers to. So you're saying that pharaohs didn't come before that. Yeah, there was okay. Look, look. So, okay, we, I can. We okay. Like for example, in the UK, if we, you have can tell prime, me that we have a prime minister, right? We have a prime minister. Mm -hmm. Um, a thousand five hundred years ago, we didn't have a prime minister, right? It was a king. So, if but that's talk, different. Why is that different? Because a prime minister's role is completely different, and we did have 
what did you say, a hundred years ago? I said sorry. A thousand five hundred. Oh, sorry, a hundred. I was going to say a hundred years ago. It's but, it's, but it's still different because a prime minister is a completely different role because it has different, completely different attributes. Okay, okay, okay. Let me give you. Let me give you another example then. Okay. It's so not under an autocratic about, system. Sure, it's sure, under sure, a sure, sure. democracy. Let me think of an example. Okay. But so like so, so three thousand two three thousand two hundred BC. Sorry, I just really want to get this out because that is when the first pharaohs came out. I wanted to get that up okay. because people make this mistake all the time. This is when the first pharaoh came about, okay? okay. What time are you talking about? Yeah, okay, because okay. Our, the Bible, people even dispute what time Abraham was around, okay? People do dispute this, all right? People, some people reference to the genealogies from Adam to Christ, okay, in um, Luke, and some people try to, you know, build up <laughs> back against that. But my point is, it's, it's sort of a, it's almost a word concept fallacy because you're trying to attribute that no king and pharaoh are completely different things but even if hang on so uh could you give me that date again 3200 bc 3200 bc they were referred to as pharaohs yeah but if you can prove to me that whatever paradigm you have that abraham lived in x period or that and then you can judge via that you know you can judge from that then that's you know that's where it develops because <laughs> i know this has been debunked but uh, i personally haven't actually, looked into this I, I don't know what your source is because here it's saying to me that the um Pharaoh came to be used in the New Kingdom, which was um, way later than 3,200. Sorry, what I can't. I can't even. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying here it's giving me a completely different source to what you said. Where, where's your I'm source? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, try, let's see. So it says here the word came to be used metonomically for the Egyptian king under the New what Kingdom. What dynasty? Yeah, under the New Kingdom. Which dynasty? I, I'm not like from okay, the first so dynasty. The 18th, is when the, dynasty, 18th dynasty. This is, I'm talking about the first dynasty, you know? Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying you, you said 3200 BC. Your, and your here it's saying 1000 Where's your source that says no one said Pharaoh, but they said This is the source. I'm giving well, you the source. What's it telling? Yeah, Britannica is saying the word came to be used metonomically for the Egyptian king under the new kingdom right. starting in the 18th dynasty, 1500 right. to 1292 BCE. Okay? So that was the earliest point, okay? 1500, okay? Meton sorry, can now I get that word? At, sorry, can I get that word? Because that word's crazy. Wait, metonomically? Okay. Right, no more. Metonomically, I think it just means like it just came to be used. Okay? So the earliest it could have been used is 1500. Substitution. BC. Of, a na of the name of an attribute, a substitution. Okay. What does that imply? If you can substitute the thing, it, so, wait, let me make my point. Let really me make my point. Okay. So Pharaoh came to be used 1,500 BC. Uh, if you look at the Old Testament, Joseph, the figure of Joseph, which is when the Bible refers to the leader of Egypt, Joseph was around 1,600 to 1,007 BC. I've got another story. I've got another source. So it couldn't have been used as what? I've got another source. Yeah, what's your source? Show me. It says Wikipedia, but it'll be a person Wikipedia, on Wikipedia. Okay, sure, sure. But it'll be an individual author, won't it? Sure, sure. Or not. It's not the most, it's not the greatest source at all, but I'll get another one. Mm -mm -mm. Another one. The Collector. We can verify that someone can verify that source. Lists of rulers, ancient Egypt and Nubia. Which kingdom did you said New Kingdom? 18th, 18th, yeah, New Kingdom. So the, pharaoh, that, the word Pharaoh only started to be used in the New Kingdom. By who? <sighs> like, like, like yeah. what, what, so what objective yeah. source is it? I just gave you Britannica. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but that, okay, so look, okay, in Britannica, right, it says. Yeah, but I'm asking what source they refer to to make that claim because that's a claim and I would, I'm just asking. We're going to be that evidence. Evidence. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We got to be. Like, it's history. It's history. Bro, you're using Wikipedia. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't say me. that was my good source, and I did say that it's not a good source. So it's being disingenuous because I did admit it's not a good source, and I did admit that I would rather look for the author of that because I did admit once again that Wikipedia has okay. authors, okay. and anyone okay, can okay, do okay. that. Okay. Okay.
Now, and you know how we affirm a scribal error because we have a solid foundation in which we affirm inspiration of the Holy Spirit and we affirm authorship. So, yes and no. <laughs> so it's going to take me a while, so... Yeah, that's fine. I, just, I, I didn't want to interrupt if you were sort of trying to get it together, because it's, it's better that it's sort of... Both arguments are, better, are actually together and then put together and then presented. Yeah, it was... It was because I feel like we both, threw, we both threw, like, wild shots because we didn't have it all together yeah, sure, at the time. Because sure, sure. we, we, we didn't come okay. to prepare this yeah, debate. Yeah, yeah, but I can, I can, I can... Okay. I can explain because the word pharaoh is equal to that of king it means the same thing and it points to the same thing what is that an autocratic monarch okay that is a to almost totalitarian is it fair for me to refer to the roman emperors prior to islam as caliphs but that's a different thing because a caliph implies what a ruler of a caliph what? A ruler of a caliph. It's an incorrect title, right? But, it's but, an incorrect but title. You're, do you know what so a caliph, a caliph can't, can't is built on? Yeah, because because Rome isn't built on Islam, right? And a caliph is built on and well, from Islam. So that's different. You're falsely equivocating well, that. No, no. The real equivocation is that you've admitted that you you looked in, into the new kingdom, <laughs> not the old kingdom. Okay, kingdom, new kingdom. I mean, it's not a new pharaohdom. It's an interchangeable word. It's it was it's probably been edited down by successive transliterations, all right? And it wouldn't matter because it's the same word. It refers to the same thing. It refers to monarch. It doesn't matter because the pharaoh is subject to Egypt, but we're talking about the same place. We're not talking about Rome and a caliph in somewhere in Arabia. You know, we're talking about the same place where the two titles, right? Pharaoh and king, which is an English transliteration of that, right? If you look at the word Rex, what does that mean? That means king, okay? That used to be used in okay. England. Okay. Okay. Do you understand whatever, my whatever. point? Yeah, it's it's point. completely well, I'm valid. Saying, I'm saying when you look at it, when you get home, it will clearly show that the period of time under Joseph was, it was not referred to as Pharaoh. The but it's the same word. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the, the same word. word. It's not okay, what's different about it? What, what, what is it pointing to? to what's it, tell me why. What's it pointing to that's different? Because it points to a different period of ancient Egypt. It's pointing to a different period and a different but If like, it was pointing to a different or, period, then, then that would be from a later time, which is has these two periods to make the distinction and thus would oh, make we, the we, distinction we're, in we're titles. Gonna, we're going to disagree. There's no point like going on. This, gonna, I know this has been debunked, but I don't know if my explanation sure, was exactly sure, what it was. So, but, so, what else did you want to ask me about? But no, I, I, I wanted solely to speak about the, the religion of Abraham, okay. but you didn't. I don't think you satisfied my answer because you didn't tell me where your priesthood is. You didn't tell me where your liturgy is. Yeah, I'm, I'm but you, happy to get you the book. If you're you're going to read yeah, it. That's fine. Yeah, I will. I, ge I genuinely will. Because the Eastern Orthodox Church has a liturgy, it has a, te it has a temple, because we are the temples, obviously the temple of the Holy Spirit, and it has incense, it has blood sacrifice on the altar, because we have the sacrifice, the eternal sacrifice of Christ, right, the eternal priesthood, and so we have all of these things that Abraham had, we have all these things that Moses had, all these things that Solomon had, and thus that only can tell us that we are the continuation of that second temple Judaism. We are the continuation of the religion of all of the prophets. If you're the continuation of the second temple of Judaism, why when... Um, we are the temple we, of the Holy Spirit. Through the Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ says it himself in the New, in the New Testament. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So Sorry, I did. I meant to say that was Paul because I did. I did think. Hang on, that wasn't Jesus. Exactly, Jesus was. It was from Paul. And the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. 
So this talks about various um, Old Testament practices and traditions and how they have linkages in the Islamic tradition. So for example, we just landed on a page correspondence between the actual words said in prayer and the gates of the temple. So it talks about Don't about sacraments, sacramental worship, like genuine sacraments of the worship, things that are so pillars of the worship. So like you're not worshiping at all in the same way as someone who has a blood sacrifice for sins. You just said that. You just said that, right? Okay. So like the Islamic and you know the way we have units of prayer. So we have like um, what people like lined up praying. So we the Muslims when we pray our five daily prayers, we, we prostrate. We have well, prostration. We, we do that. In Eastern, that's, that's something that Islam took from Eastern Orthodoxy because we've been doing that for the start of the church. Because Eastern Orthodoxy is the only church that has preserved the true tradition. Yeah, so, so we, 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 there's the tradition there. You said, you're like, where's the, the Old Testament tradition that like, we But preserve? like, you have some. You're like, yeah, but we have some. But I'm like, yeah, but we have where's it all. Your, where's your tradition of performing sacrifice in the temple? Jesus Christ is the eternal sacrifice. And we have an sacrifice. altar. Every church has an altar. You go to church, we have an altar, which the Holy Communion, the the body and blood of Jesus Christ is offered on that is that is exactly that isn't that like a form of cannibalism no why not because do you, do you affirm that is the literal blood and body of Jesus I actually do and so you do, do, you know, do Wait, you know, so hang on hang on hang on, hang on. You're telling no, me you affirm that you're eating the literal astaghfirullah, but you're eating the literal body and blood of what someone. What astaghfirullah? Like, um, God forbid. Oh, right. yeah, so um, you're affirming the literal. I said you, you chuck a little word there. I didn't know. You're, uh, you're affirming you're eating the literal blood and body of a human being, and you're telling but me what is implied with ca what is implied with ca it's, 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 again it's a false equivocation for the word because it's not implying what? the same exact thing. A cannibal is someone who literally goes and kills to eat. All right. And, no, and it's no, the malicious no, no, intent. No, the malicious no, intent. No. If no, if you eat a dead body, you're still a cannibal. In what uh, you, you are right, but that's still in the same exact way. To my point, because it, it's a completely malicious and Wait, so psychotic you, you, thing to do in to that circumstance. Do you know why in that circumstance? Because in that circumstance, it's completely different. You gain nothing, and therefore you're driven by what an impure lust. Because you're there's no no benefit of is it, eating a human. Is it psychotic human. if you're um, we, marooned? at sea on a ship on a little like canoe this is boat, my point we, and in Christianity every, we don't do that we don't we don't do this 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 like no, do no, no, x no. must me, have I wanna, I wanna response I, I am situationless is. Why, why, it's situationless yeah. that you're supposed to work out your salvation with fear and trembling in Christianity so as to the situation is the response this is something we don't see in Sharia law. You do X, you, this happen, no, this happen. No, 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 That's exactly how it is. No, no, no. It is exactly how it is. What are you talking about there? Obviously, not, I'm, not talking about eating. I'm not talking about eating. No, no, I'm talking about what you did with your hand there. That's yeah. You have to fulfill certain criteria. You can't just do that with no, anyone. No, 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 but no, yeah. anyway, back to this point. Can you define to me, you're running from the point, why is a cannibal? Can you define to me what a cannibal is? Yeah, but I'm, I'm going yeah, to. I'm, but I, I, I see you. where you're trying to walk me with this. But what I'm trying to say is, I've gone yeah, but everywhere you're, you want to yeah, but, walk me. Yeah, but the you're negative, the negative to. aspects of that, yeah. the, the, the psychot. If we want to get really down to it, the psychology of someone who goes to eat another human, who is either living, right, or dead in the physical, in in the, in you know what I'm saying, in just for no benefit because we receive grace through Holy Communion, okay? And some people say that grace is already received, but that's so like I'm a saying, manifestation. I'm, I'm saying, but, on, if you're marooned you on a ship, yeah, in that's the middle completely of the Pacific different. Ocean, that's completely different. And there's because we're not no, marooned on a ship. no food anywhere, and there's a dead body, and then you start eating it for survival. That's not psychotic. That is for no, a because purpose. no one said that. So why no one said is that? that? So what's the difference? Because because you're you're, you're saying cannibalism without that presupposition you're just saying if you're basically just saying what if i just went and chopped meat there's and you've actually just proved no, no, what I, you've done you've just helped my point okay. because you've actually proved my point because you've said that there is different there's different psycho first psychologies yeah. right and there's di therefore different weights i'm assuming you're going to prescribe a different weight if you had to give both no, no, of them I'm a penalty your definition, yeah, but you i'm assuming you would you do that you prescribe so can, okay I'll let you speak you prescribe different weights by saying um, one is psychotic, one isn't, one is for a purpose, one isn't. So you're the one prescribing the weights. I'm going by your own definitions. But the reasoning, are I'm you, giving you the reasoning. No, no, no. Okay, so you're okay with saying it's cannibalism if you eat the literal body and blood of someone, right? That's all I'm saying. But the, I see where you're trying to walk me, but my, what I'm saying is deeper than that. It's deeper than just okay. saying, uh, it's, not, it's deeper no, than no, word games. It's, it's deeper than, than word games, okay? I agree, it's deeper than word games. I agree, it's deeper than word games, but why can't you affirm that? 
Like, because, I, I agree it's deeper. No, because, but just because, that because the bit, way you're saying it, I can bit. see the malicious intent with that. I There's can no see malicious because intent. you're trying to say that now, okay, now you're a cannibal because you're eating the blood, because you're, you're trying to equivocate. I can see a draw in this no, act. You're trying I to can use see, as you if you're see, from look, like some monotheistic tradition, which has been um, solely for the purpose of one God, and yet you're, conf you're confirming cannibalism to me, and you're prescribing cannibalism to me. But you've already prescribed that there is different and varying levels of perverseness, of intent all right? you're the one that and said that you at you, 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 least affirmed it I, so I, I, did, I, you, I didn't affirm it what I mean is is because uh, you me, because you pre, because yeah, you presented me right. because you presented me with that presupposition with that event right I assumed because you've said well isn't it different if this you said it in a way that it sounded like you actually believe that so you said it well isn't it different if if, if you're on a ship you you presented it in a way that it's like do you, know what I'm, do you know what I mean <laughs> you, have, you must understand that maybe there was a miscommunication from my part or whatever but what I'm saying is I just assumed that that was your point because it's how yeah, yeah. it came off okay okay sure, but sure. if it's not your sure. point, not point then point. so you don't I'm believe sure you're the one so that you yeah okay so but if you don't point, like, do you not believe do you not believe okay, sure. that do you not believe that there is an intrinsic difference in eating the the whatever the, the body and blood of someone who is on a, when you're on a ship right and you've got you need to survive right as a survival instinct do you agree there is a difference any in inherent difference to you just going up and just munching on something right now i'm saying a cannibal to me very simple is there, is there Wait, a difference you, i'm going to define cannibal for you very okay. easily okay a cannibal to me is anyone who eats the literal who claims to eat the literal bloody body and flesh of another that's a cannibal for me but you're but the thing is you're being ignorant now you're now willfully ignorant because you know there's a difference you know there's a difference. Well, in fact, difference? you tried to point it out in my paradigm as if it was obvious what's in my paradigm and as an obvious thing. The difference is the, in I've, we've run through this, the intent. It is the psychoticness of if you were to go and do it for no reason, with no need for it. But guess what? In the same way that the person on the ship has a need for it, we have a need for it. Because Jesus said, if you don't eat of my body and blood, you, will never, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven. So we have the same need. In fact, we have more of a need than someone on a ship because it's regarding the salvation of our souls. Now, a lot of people and different sects will say, and this is, this, is, this is where another problem comes in, they'll say that it's actually just a signifying, you know, a signifying thing. I talked to a blood fire earlier and he was saying he actually believes that it's just sick to find he still does it but he doesn't believe that he even receives grace yeah. for it he you, believes you that are the grace affirming literally right i'm affirming real presence but it's a divine mystery it's not it, it's it's because i'm eastern orthodox we don't we're not catholic we're not trying we're to i'm not talking about blood you know, fire you know, or whatever we're talking about you this is different. you're affirming literally right yes because because it's a mystery of okay. the church okay we, we've discussed it i appreciate your answer but you, thank but, you for that but it's, i understand what you're trying to, to present as cannibalism but what then is intrinsically wrong with it in the confines of no human life being harmed? No I mean, human life is being harmed. That, what is sure. the confine? Because the human being being harmed is, guess what? Is the crucifixion. Okay. That is already the crucifixion. But do you not see you're applying all of these principles to it? Like you're, you're applying all of these things. The like, words, what if it's about no harm? But the words what, carry what the weight. What if someone gets pleasure from cannibalism? There's but been lots of serial killer victims who have got pleasure to, from you're being cannibalized. You're trying to binarize so, it. You're, you're, doing, you're, you're the one that's binarizing. I'm just saying, just yeah, yeah, accept it. Own it's it. The same Sharia, it's the same Sharia. It's the same Sharia. It's the same Sharia thing. Sure, you can justify this, it. This, this, this is what I was, this, that's why I did that. Because you're like this with it. You're like, is this or this not? No, it's not. It's situational. It's completely situational because I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, if someone ate another human being sure. because they had to for the survival of themselves, would you say they were justified in doing that? I'm not commenting on that, I'm just but would you say we're that? not talking just, about I'm that. Just asking, we're not would you say that? Would you say that? Would no, you say that? So. In, not even on a ship? Yeah. So you would die? You would let yourself die? I, I personally, I, I can't, of course those are very extreme circumstances, I can't definitively say things, but it's the same, saying, it's I'm the saying, salvation saying, of our souls. We're not talking about that, we're saying if I did do that, then that would be an act of cannibalism. But you're, you're, you, that's the thing. Why you're is it so hard to, for because you? Because if you don't make distinctions, you're you, applying you false weight. If you don't apply distinctions to the word of cannibalism, very intent, very in, the whys of everything, all right, why you're doing it, why it's happening, the situation, okay. then you're adding, you're just saying there's one weight, cannibalism, one weight. No, there's this there's, there's, there's weight. No, I'm saying, I'm saying there's, there's weight to there's, everything. There's you have to understand this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. If, okay, I'm not, uh, okay, cannibalism, right? It's there, right? If 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 we um, you have to say that cannibalism happened, then you can start doing all the waiting, right? If you if someone dies, right, you need to start to see what circumstances that they died under, whether it was murder, whether it was during a period of war. You have to then you. But the actual fact is that person died. 
that that person was murdered. Whether it happened under war circumstances, whether it happened under um, family very, circumstances, whatever. That's a very anti sort of religious view on it because you're saying that, that there's no weight to one's actions which de denies sin. No, I'm saying sin. the action. You've I'm just sin. defining an action. I'm not putting but, weight on the action. But I'm you saying have, the action because you've is distinguished it saying, well, we still someone's died and then, then you're therefore saying, well, regardless of all this intent, regardless of the situation, regardless of intent, someone has died, therefore the value of this is, let's say, 100, all right? And the value for cannibalism is always 100. So essentially the situation has no effect on the value of it. Do you know no, what I'm, I'm saying? Sa I, so therefore, I you're understand what you're saying. I'm saying you're well, refusing. You're, you're playing around the definition. You Only are just because refusing. Of the wait, intent of I, its I, definition. I, I let you talk. I let you talk. I'm saying just accept that there's cannibalism. If you want to justify it, you can justify it however you want. Sure, under some circumstances, like you mentioned on the ship and stuff, some people have um, reasons for why they do commit those things. And I know. In no, a, I'm saying, I'm saying in sure in Christianity. In Christianity. In a better position hang, than hang, you. On, hang on. Hang on. I'm saying in Christianity, you have some reasons for why you do these things. For you, that might be justified, but you just got to accept that it's cannibalism, bro. But you're, this again, you're applying the full If you weight. actually believe in people that, I don't believe that it's a home. literal people body who, and people who I'm saying, I don't believe it's the literal generous. body and uh, body and blood of um, that person. I don't accept that. But I'm saying, if you do believe that in your worldview, how in your worldview is that not cannibalism? But what weight is that implying? What, 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 what is that making? No, I'm just, I'm just making a statement. I'm because that's my statement. point. You, you're not defining the weight of it and you're therefore being slightly disingenuous with it i'm calling you no, out I, I, on okay, that because okay, it, it okay, okay. affects define the, the way define the way for it for me you can define the way for it for me what do you mean the way like, for it i've defined the way for yeah, it i've sure, shown you, you have, the you situations have, yeah. so in the same way that you you try to at least boomerang to me that if i was on a ship this is diff you imply the difference because you yeah. wouldn't have brought it up if okay. you didn't imply there was a, some sort of inherent difference if i was on a ship no, was, and everyone was dying all right or something and it, i was the last one right and there was a human body and i had to eat it of course that would be that would be better than if i just went up and just took a bite out of someone and just started the day, consuming them both instances are cannibalism aren't they but what, 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 what do you that's, mean that's by what that? I'm saying. Do you, I'm not, do you mean in it. both instances the flesh and the blood of someone has been eaten? And so, why? Because that's a separate distinction from what a moral weight is. It's not that a moral weight of someone perhaps has died or perhaps. Do you know what I mean? It's like. Because yeah. cause that's that's loss of life. Okay. So that's a different thing. Uh, that's like a transcendental uh, in a sense, isn't topics, it? Because it's a bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, but you, 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 you had a chance. You've had a chance yeah. to explain, right? I've you under, you, you have to understand sure. that there was disingenuousness in in your paradigm, and you, and you were trying a debate tactic of trying to corner me into admitting some sort of cannibalistic and ne no, uh, cannibalistic I'm theology, and then you applied so then you applied the definition of. You're, you're so tied to these Old Testament traditions, right? And you, I'm just saying. It's not an Old Testament tradition. It's not an Old Testament tradition. No, because it is. It's an evolve. It's an evolution of. First. that tradition yeah. okay because so, what is sacrifice is not a lamb it is the perfect lamb yes. of god and that is yeah. jesus christ do you understand that it's not they didn't do the exact same thing because they yeah, didn't so why, have that why, sacrifice why would you have these values for christianity when you why you when you apply these principles to christianity why do you not accept it from islam like we are not a what jewish religion we right. are not a jewish religion we're not going to be so tied to the jerusalem temple right no but like we a, are yeah do you understand that yeah, we, are we are because yeah. because you and in fact we can argue all about this like how ishmael was not the son of the promise isaac was and the promise it is written that the promise was delivered through no. isaac and ishmael would be gone to um create great nation right no yeah but that that's that's all it entails great numbers great descendants that's what it that's entails your and and, that's your and hang on hang on hang on okay so you care so much about old testament laws and traditions right do you eat pork no i actually don't you don't eat pork right? i, do I you don't, don't like it do, i just don't like um, it um do you eat kosher at every opportunity it's, do you know what? What do you mean? What do you mean by eat kosher? Because that's kosher, a, that's kosher because, simple. Like because this is what we simple, call this is what we call a law that was for the nation of Israel, which was objectively taken away. Because just as the stoning, we can morally justify this and prove yeah. this because there were stoning laws in old Israel for. a a civilization that didn't have a police force as yeah. we have the luxury of having yeah. so they needed some sort of ju judge justice, yeah justice. exactly so the stoning was good and okay then because it was a form of justice it was the police force it was so that but, do but you understand you, but, but then I, when I the, but then the time of jesus judea controlled by rome had centurions and the, the you know the side of the street there's no, a difference there's an I, inherent I want, difference i just want you to see when you're coming to islam and you're saying you don't follow the priesthood you don't follow you this that the other 
you yourself don't follow a lot of these Old Testament traditions and laws. Well, like you you're mean, saying, because like you're like just what? justifying, I just told you, kosher. You don't follow kosher. Because, no, because that's an eliminating thing, because we are not the nation, we're not literally in and the nation of let Israel. Me tell you something interesting. That? Let me tell you something interesting. The early Christians did follow kosher. The early Christians were Torah Orthodox Christians, like James the Just, um, the Jerusalem because Church. Because they were Jews, were but, but, originally but have you read the book of Acts? Yeah. Like, have you actually read, read the book of Acts? Book of Acts yeah. Because they, and they said, Acts we prayed 15, in the spirit and it was seemed on right on in on them, that. in the yeah. spirit, that the Gentiles on not on follow onto the Jewish law. And the hang reason, on, hang on, hang you know on. The what happened in that? Acts 15 and what happened in Acts 21? Like, Why is that relevant? That's not relevant. No, that's not relevant. Paul, not no, it's relevant. It's relevant because Paul and James had a disagreement about exactly this topic. James calls Paul into the temple to perform a Nazarite vow and to repent. And actually, if you look into the Greek, it says apostasy. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul is being accused of apostasy. Bring yeah, that up. Sure, Paul being a, that is ridiculous. Come on, Paul. Paul Acts 15. Up. Acts 15. Okay, look. I don't know how you descended from that as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna finish up. It will be finished soon because we've probably gone through most of the Old Testament by now. Eh? <laughs> we've gone here, we've gone through the whole Old Testament now. Eh? But no, I, I just, it, it's an unreconcilable yeah. thing. It's, it's sacraments. You need to understand the difference between Old Testament sacraments and Jewish nation law because it's an inherent and fundamental difference. And it's like, the sacramental law is going to apply to the worship because it is for the worship whereas the national law is not going to apply to the persons because it's not for the persons but for the nation do you understand because the separation the people were to be distinct right among the world among the nations the jews were to stand out as god's people but we are not made righteous through the law rather the law is what brings judgment and we are made righteous through christ so we do not need these laws to like these laws to follow so like um so you don't need but no, the because, no because but in christ no because so in christ it's fulfilled the because, because, but no, you, guys you, understand? Because you cannot way. follow the law of moses and you do fail because you have sinned and thus you are going to hell because you have failed the law of moses any off, you know, like the slight is off, and what you, is you your reconciliation? You, you have no reconciliation. Listen, 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 listen. listen. No Let me tell you one thing. I'm pulling up Acts 21, like you said. Let me tell you, in Islam, we don't work under the Christian paradigm. You're putting the Christian paradigm on us. We don't have it's the Christian paradigm. Of it's original actually, sin. The, the, we don't have the concept of original Jewish sin. paradigm. The Jewish paradigm. No, we're not original Where's sin. Paradigm? Not original sin, because you know I'm Eastern Orthodox, okay? And we have a completely different view on on original, original sin. sin. And it's, yeah, it's, yeah. A ridi it's a ridiculous conversation to get into because I've seen other debates get into this. The point of this what we were just discussing is not original sin it is the debate about mosaic law all right and how mosaic law is to be followed okay we can see in we can see in that in in the fact most of the scholars of moses no, 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 if you will, in acts 21 yeah in acts the, 20 the, in acts when they, 21 um chapter 20 god so made I'm, consequences I'm, I'm, when they broke the law of moses on, okay okay when they heard this, they praised God. They said to Paul, you see, brother, how many what thousands translation? of Jews... Um, I got your translation for you. I mean. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I got, you, I got your translation for you. Okay, so here. When they heard this, they praised God. Then they said to Paul, you see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach all the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses. Acts what? Sorry, Acts 50. Acts 21, chapter, uh, Acts chapter 21. Acts 21, um, sorry, Acts 21, verse 20. I'll well, read it, I'll read it. Acts 21, verse 20. Oh. When they heard this, they, yeah, someone's smoking, right? Um, yeah. When they heard this, they praised God. Before they said to Paul, for a long time. They said to Paul, you see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children and not it to took live me two, according it took to me two. A, it took me two. It took me two. It took me two searches. I wanted to do this because then you couldn't just say, "Oh, what I'm saying is arbitrary." Paul calls Gentiles from their pagan lives to a new life in Christ. Hang on, okay. So what? Hang what on. are you okay, doing I'm, there? Tell I'm, me what you're I'm, doing I'm, there. I'm literally reading the New Testament word for word. But, but I'm not manipulating it anyway. Sola like, scriptura. <laughs> you're doing it sola scripturally, and I don't affirm sola scriptura. So you're, un, you're operating what under do you a affirm? What do you affirm? The church teaches and the, the church, church interpretation. Okay, so look okay, up the so, Eastern Orthodox so, okay, okay, interpretation. Hang on, calm down, calm down. Okay, you affirm the church fathers, right? And the apostolic fathers, right? And that's how you look at the scripture through the yeah. apostolic, uh, apostolic well, fathers, right? Through the, through the church, because the church is guided sure, sure. by the Holy Spirit. Okay, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The first church father, who's that? The first apostolic church father. Apostolic no, sorry, church. The cameras, the cameras. First, one second, one second. One second. Um, who was the first apostolic church father? 
I don't know the more okay. fun name. So the, 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 no, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. I'm worries. 17. Of no worries. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I came to the faith. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So the first apostolic church father is um, a figure called Saint Clement of Rome. Okay. Are you familiar with Saint Clement, Clement of Rome? Yeah. Saint Clement of Rome. Yeah. I'm Clement. familiar with it, it's not the order. Okay, Clement of Rome is often associated as being the cousin of the Emperor Domitian. Okay. Right, where is this going? Right. So I'm saying, how can you trust the church fathers when your first church father is a um, is in is in the family of the imperial household? So he's a family member of the Roman emperors. The first and three. These Roman emperors. Oh, I wanted to speak about Polycarp. He was a student under Peter. Okay. Do you know that? Polycarp. How can we affirm all of this if your first church father, who's buddies fact, with um, like this person, he is a member of the Roman imperial household, the same Roman family which destroyed Jerusalem? Do you know the stories of the saints though? Yeah, so Saint Domitilla, right? So Saint Domitilla is often seen, Santa Domitilla, who's one of your earliest martyrs, she's often seen as being the wife of Titus Flavius Clemens, who's associated as being Clement of Rome. Saint Domitilla, she is affirmed as a saint in the Catholics and Orthodox tradition, so your tradition. She is seen as being the niece of the Emperor Titus and the niece of the Emperor Domitian. So why is an Orthodox saint, Santa, why is an Orthodox Santa, one of the earliest Orthodox Santas, why is she the niece of the Roman emperors who destroyed Jerusalem and destroyed Palestine? Why is, um, why is this, this um, Domitilla, she, her, um, the Emperor Domitian, he didn't have any children, but he had Domitilla as a niece, right? He I'm promised- sorry, are, you using, are you using works to justify the validity of a person? No, I'm using your church tradition. I'm saying no, your no, church no, tradition no, no, validates no, 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 Domitilla. No, 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 right, no, no. Yeah. But are you using the works or the things or the, the attributes, not, I don't want to say attributes, I want to say the, the things people did to justify who, what, like their validity. No, I'm, say, I'm saying, I'm well, trying to- You can do that with Muhammad, yeah. right? And you understand that the, 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 men, the, I can't, I don't want to say it too up front, but you, the nine and the age nine, yeah, yeah? we can use that, yeah. all right, in the same way to completely disvalidate because you're using these things like scandalous things. And essentially no, you're building, I know you're building up, I know what you're building up to, right? But you're using the works of the pe of these people to then make judgment on their character and validity. But that's an inconsistent thing sure, if you sure. will if you will deny that from Muhammad. So if you won't deny that from Muhammad, then do you know what? If you don't deny that from Muhammad, if you say, yeah, we can judge Muhammad by that, then sure be it, let's have that. And then you can say that. And yeah, then, uh, I stand by what so you so you so what do you think about child marriage then? And what do you think about consummating a marriage at age nine? Sure. So this, I'm, is, I'm only is, doing this on, as well. On, this is, on, I know this is a complex question. Like, yeah, it's I appreciate, like, I appreciate but gonna the, the only reason I'm doing this is because... Speak, right? yeah, okay. Let me have a chance to speak if you ask that. Okay, so first thing is... Hi. God bless you guys. I'm oh, not take care, man. Uh, Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Keith. Keith. Uh, maybe see you guys. I'm back here in June, hopefully, for yeah, another yeah, yeah. Sunday time. Sounds good. So, uh, yeah. I'm Enjoy everything and keep, keep the good conversations alive. Thank God bless you. the Aurora this evening. It's an Aurora. Aurora? There's a... Red alert for it, in fact. Okay, yeah, like no, definitely. Only I'll keep once an eye every out. five years, you can see it in this part of England, and it could be tonight. So, That's really good. Yeah, let's see. Uh, no, Fingers crossed. That'd be amazing. Thank you. No, I, I wouldn't see it. I don't think see it in London. So, um, too bright. first thing is, okay, we have to understand that where was this criticism of the prophet's marriage prior to the year 1800? Wait, sorry, sorry. No, I mean, see, because, I'm saying Because prophet, we only knew about it. No, because I know, because I know this, I've just been told yeah, sure. this actually. We only knew about it when the Hadith Sahih al-Bakuri, Hadiths were translated into English and then we jumped on it. So yes, we only knew it when it was translated in English because we're not Arabic and we don't speak what about Arabic. Arabic Christians? Arabic Christians had a thousand years to critique this marriage, and did they? they you name me well, one. Well, if they did, they probably would. No, I'm saying. No, they don't. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Let's no, no, be honest. No, no. See, see, see. You're because I know things. history. This you're is this is where I, this is where I jump things. in. This is this is. Wait, my hang hit. on, hang on. John of Damascus, loads of your uh, church members, they criticise the prophet on many things. They do not criticise this one aspect. What is, okay, hang, hang on. What what are you trying to I'm say? Saying, because I'm saying you're applying modernism and postmodernism. Postmodernism as a way of um, critique. You're applying our world, where we live in a modernist, postmodernist world, and you're applying that thinking and that methodology and that way of life Do you think to 1,400 okay. years ago. Do you think 1,400 years ago, it was okay to shag a nine-year-old? 
that. If you're going to talk like that, I'm going to refuse that, the like, conversation. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for what you said. Yeah, uh, uh, right, what you said. I don't, bro, I don't think that's actually disrespectful, considering that's literally what we're talking about. But I will reword it and I will apologize. And I say, I, I apologize. Yes, I apologize. I didn't I apologize. even want to talk about Look, I'm, look I'm, 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 about... I've apologized, all right? Okay, I've apologized. I said, I said, I apologize. Because yeah. I say, and if I say that in front of the camera, it's me having to go, okay, I'm taking a step back, so I am apologising, okay? okay? And I say, okay, I'll rephrase it however you like. Consummating, yeah. perhaps, yeah? Is it, is it valid in a marital circumstance? Because there, is a, there could be a distinction in your tradition, I don't know. Like, because you might say, well, consummating a marriage at all. Let me, let me you tell know? you something, let me tell you something. Are you friends with all of these Christian speakers? In, in well, I'm not, I'm, I've, I've, I know some of them, yes. Are you familiar with them? Okay, so... They told me, I told I brought this up to them, that if in the future, right, we, a human, humankind, we believe Islam is a religion for all times, all times, all purposes, forever, right? Even into the way future, if human become, humans become space-faring civilization, <laughs> Islam is going to be the religion that's the truth, no matter we what. We believe that. We, we, we believe got, that as well, well right? yeah, we got the book, we got, there's so a book, uh, they, Orthodoxy, they, Religion of the Future. Okay, so. okay, so you have similar ideas. Okay, if in the future, um, there is a... Um, Sharia state, sir. Sharia state, maybe. No, no. Like, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, in, in the future, really in, in the future, you know, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with um, space I'm exploration. About the past, um, are you familiar with space exploration or well, yeah, and the need for like the need to mature at a very fast rate, right, in order to um, perform certain functions in the spaceship or whatever, right? So I'm saying, if in the future, we mean like exercise because there's a certain yeah, gravitational yeah, effect. Exactly. Yeah, right. So I'm saying, lack of right now, science is working on accelerated growth and accelerated uh, aging, right? In sperm um, mammalian species. What does this have to do so with I'm saying, I'm saying consummation in the future, of a nine year old marriage? Yeah, That's I'm saying in the future, there might be periods where prior to the age of nine, yeah, prior to the age of nine, humans will mature and reach puberty way before that. Yeah, but that's through. Is that, is, that, is that under a full? Is that under? Is that under a massive guess that that might happen yeah. and that that well, would justify I, I, it? And wait, hang on, because hang on, that's because you're hang saying on, that, hang that, on, that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't get you. You can't. I'm saying. I'm saying. When I raised this to your Christian speakers, yes, you they said, do you know what they said? Do you know what they what said? What did they say? They said that a church... Who? By the way, I want to get um, a name because I know... You want to have a name? I, I don't want to name drop them just for no reason. Okay, fine. If you want me to, I'll say... Well, don't name okay. drop them on this... Ca you can name drop them afterwards sure, and then sure, I'll sure. affirm it. Sure, but it was your major Christian speakers here. They said if that happened, we would reconvene a council, a Christian council, right? Well, I think I already know who this would be, but... You already know. Well, I, I can assume okay. that... Like, there's they only a certain amount of... Like sort, well, at least non-Protestant sort of. No, it was Protestants. It was a Protestant. Yeah, it was Protestants, Catholics, and Orthodox. Well, they, they all three. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It was all three Protestant, well, they, Christian, mm. and Orthodox Christian speakers in this part. Not post Told nothing. me that they would reconvene a council, and the council will establish that the fact that the age of marriage will change. So, so I'm saying, as a religion for all times, right? You're saying one Christian said it, therefore Christianity believes. No, I'm saying multiple Christians in in this part but, told me. But, Christ does not believe that. Therefore, if I'm they saying, said I'm saying, that, I'm saying in the modern, if they in the modern that, post -modern, I don't care about that. I care modern, about Christ. The, can you let me speak? Yeah. In the modern postmodern climate that we live in, yeah, we don't. I do not approve of marriage of that right at that age because of the circumstances we live in. But I'm saying the circumstances that apply now and the circumstances that applied then and the circumstances that apply in the future are not necessarily all the same. Okay, but but so but, the circumstances <laughs> that applied then, it's not fair to judge. The circumstances of that do you time. agree that we have do you agree that do you agree so, that 1400 years ago development no i'm saying, I'm saying you're using he's basically saying and post he's, i think he's trying to say i think he's trying to say that she was probably she probably looked like an 18 year old when she was not no, i'm i'm also saying that she which is ridiculous no i'm not i'm not saying that you know it's totally ridiculous it's ridiculous my, you're not understanding my point you're not understanding my point my point is that Whenever, like you're applying a postmodernist, modernist understanding of the way of looking at the world to 1,400 years ago, and you're also using postmodernism. Well, they and still look like nine year olds. Sorry, you said you're going to give me. I, 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 I say morality doesn't change. Right, that's what morality we're saying. Doesn't what do you mean that? What do you mean the morality? The, the, the standard of morality. Right, the, yeah, it does. Oh, like it, it's, it's, yeah, because because it's something that's no, I'm interesting. Saying, saying, look, look, but you're saying. I know you're what you're saying. saying. You're saying if the if the, if the maturity oh, yeah. level changed, right? Say yeah, at yeah, nine exactly. they they looked. You're saying that that would have to shift the moral. Yeah, the so moral I'm saying, you but do you understand acting, the brain wait, wait, development? Let me, let me is, speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. You guys are acting like the modernist, postmodernist world that we live in yeah. today is the final of all of mankind. It's not. It's just a slice of history.
history. And it's very similar to 1400 years, years, ago, years ago. We don't know because what the is. That's what we're saying. 1400 years ago, nine year olds didn't look like 18 year olds and have the same moral comprehension as an 18 year old. Okay? What we have discovered now to be the correct age as marriage is from a scientific perspective. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you have to understand exactly. that, that is but the nine year old is. Puberty. Are you saying? Are you affirming I mean, what Mohammed Tijab said? Are you affirming that paedophilia is subjective? No, 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 no. no I'm not because, affirming that. Because that's exactly what you just said. That? Because you said, well, it's paedophilia in this century, but 1400 years ago, or when we were in spaceships, you know, do you get my point? You're saying that therefore paedophilia is subjective no, no, because you're saying that maybe it's because you're saying you're saying that having sex with a nine-year-old is not paedophilia 1400 years ago or potentially. And then you're saying that yeah, it is now if paedophilia. You into, if you look into the marriages of the Prophet وسلم, yeah, the majority of them, almost all of them, were with. How many wives did he have? And how many wives? He said he had four, but nine to eleven. Okay, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? You can't, you can't listen to someone Can you let me talk? Bro, 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 I'm not going to talk to you if you're going to just keep interrupting. I'm laying you off because you're young. Right? Let me off. But I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying the way you're talking. You're speaking is very like Usman. Huh? You're speaking like Usman. Just like there's a rudeness, it's like it's not rudeness, it's debate, okay? Yeah, it's debate, but you gotta and let me when, heated, I, when I speak something, you gotta let me finish the point. Yeah, but equally, you're, you, there's been times in this debate where you've been eager you're the to one get asking, okay? Look, let me let me put it like this you ask me a question, I start responding to that question, and then you start doing your preacher narrative. What's your like, preacher I'm not, narrative? I'm not the one, what is this? You came to me, what is this? What is you this? came to me, hang on, hang on, you came to me and you said you have some questions for me, right? No, he, oh. he, get, these two yeah. lads behind the camera pulled me over, they said, Hi, how are you doing, bro? Because I was just watching the debate, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sure, but you said you had some questions, right? I said, I you know, he said, he said, he so said, do you want talking. no? Because he said, do you want to speak to him? And I just thought, oh, I could probably think of something. So it was just on the spot. I was just here, all right. I was just, I just turned up here and then yeah, I was okay, like, you okay, know what, I'll, if you I'll, genuinely I'll want this. to know the answer, right, I'm saying don't apply modernist, postmodernist thinking to the entirety of the rest of history in the future. But we are just a what? slice in history, right? We can't judge times by in the past and we can't judge times in the present in the future but it's inherently we, immoral because they have not they don't have the level of m mental comprehension and that we know that listen, this has led to trauma we is, know this leads to mental trauma we know that this leads to negative effects therefore it the is negative culture that we what do you exist mean in, in, hang on, hang on. in the culture that we exist in today yes it does so that's why i'm not approving of it today i'm saying in other periods of history it is appropriate <laughs> it's just uh, unless you're trying to tell like are you actually trying to argue that like no, 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 look, 1400 like years just, ago. Like we that just talked about, like we just talked about. Um, I hate to defend, uh, to send this argument into this, yeah. but it's a necessary thing okay, because it's the same sort. Speak, isn't it the same sort of corner that you try to? It's the same. Speak, calm okay, down, okay. Calm down, calm down. Sorry, I. I, I Yes, I know, but yeah. this, I come here in the day and it's, this is this is how you got to shout, right? You've got to shout like this, especially when you have a, when I was debating this, but I was shouting. Yeah, but I'm right not, I'm not, why, 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 yes, but, yeah, but that's why what I'm saying. judging me by someone I'm not, else? I'm just saying that lot, the, the last debate I had, yeah. right, is, is the sort of pretense I'm under. So it's the sort so of mindset I'm under. So yes, I'm, I'm yes, start. okay, that's right. Right, so essentially, I'm, I'm trying to essentially push you into the same corner that you pushed me into, because it's something that is, I'm adding, am I adding weight? Am I adding weight to it? Do you agree that I'd be adding weight? Like I'm saying, like I'm, I'm saying objectively nine-year-old. Like I'm saying, you, 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 we still consume, consume a nine-year-old. And so it's the same no, way that the, with, saying, with, with no, the, saying, you understand what I'm saying. No, I'm with, saying, with the body and blood of Christ, yeah, yeah. you have pushed me into that same corner and you made this same yeah. sort and style of argument. I've just turned it back onto you and see how it has now yeah. affected okay, you. I, I'll answer, I'll answer. I understand what you're saying. I appreciate what you're saying. I'm saying as Muslims, there's a tradition where someone asks for, I'm going to answer your question directly. I'm just going to give this narration first, right? And please don't interrupt. Let me just finish. Okay. So as Muslims, we have narration that someone asked for the hand of the Prophet's daughter and the Prophet said she's too young. So that implies that, that we do have like ages, which, you know, which where we are certain to be too young. As, where, <laughs> too, I, I said, I said yeah. let me finish. Sorry, I said, let me guy, finish. Let's let's All right. So I'm saying as Muslims, right, we, we have conditions for marriage, as in mental maturity, physical maturity, whatever. Are I'm they saying, separate? I'm saying, huh? Are they separate? I'm saying those are two conditions that are considered for marriage. Okay? Actually, for nowadays, so, would you I'm say they're separate? Like, like a uh, mental would you physical say, maturity. Would you say there's like a physical maturity begins at an earlier age as mental phys uh, as mental um, uh, physical maturity? And what standard do you judge it by? Because would, people develop say, completely on their own, in in the sense of what their genetics demand. So some people won't develop until a lot lo later yeah, on. It's all subjective, right? But, but, but no one develops at nine. <laughs> That's no, my no, no, point. There is, no, there is point. instances of puberty being achieved at nine, so don't make that. But, up. but, no, but, but, but what, 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 what's that? Like, like there's, 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 
there's instances of a man being seven foot, right? But it doesn't mean that men are usually seven yeah, foot. It's an it, abnormality. But, yeah, but where, where you're a scientist. It, what happens to anom anomalies? No, no. I'm what saying, happens to anomalous results? I'm saying, I'm saying anomalous. Okay, let's go by your definition. Anomalous results. Because right? you said the happens. I'm saying, I'm saying where so does it saying? say nine is the cutoff here? I'm saying, li listen to me. I don't, say, I don't think nine is the cutoff. I think it's way further up than no, nine. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying nine, right? Nine oh, is when oh, Mother Aisha. Consummated her marriage with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? I'm or is saying, it the other way around? Because he he okay. consummated well, the because the there's, no, there's no point going into that. Okay, so I'm saying that was when it happened, right? Mm. I'm saying the age of maturity. <sighs> okay, so I'm saying that we as Muslims we factor in mental maturity, we factor in physical maturity, we factor in loads of things into whether a woman. But why can be you... considered for marriage? Can you can yeah, be okay, considered right, right. for marriage? Okay. Why are you? So I'm saying, on that? I'm saying, I'm saying that at that time those factors were different to a modernist and postmodernist world that we exist in today. And if we cannot act superior like you Christian missionaries and others do, I'm not missionary. Okay. No, whatever. 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 <laughs> it's just okay, a, it's saying, a response saying, to Dawah Gandhi. Okay. Sure. Sure. Hilarious. I'm saying you can't act as if the modernist and postmodernist understanding of the world today and the po modernist and postmodernist understanding of marriage today is going to be applicable to the far future. Do you agree right? that we have Because scientific... you guys yourself, when you talk to me, um, not you, I'm going to be fair, not you, but your big speakers, when they talk to me, they said they'll convene a council See, and then they'll we re both did redact. We both, we, I, I said Usman as an example and you have convened me to the quickly, big speakers. No, I, I quickly, yeah, I quickly, I obviously, quickly. because you made the argument against me. I no, no, but but I'm you saying, see how it's a natural thing and maybe it's not, it's not, it's not sure, like a sure, malicious sure. thing. Okay? No, of course, of course. But I'm, I'm saying Every time I've spoken yes. to you, I have not insulted your religion. I have not insulted your religion. What's I would say you have because you've called me. You, you, yeah, cannibalism. Cannibal I think that's pretty insulting. Do you not agree? It's just a definition. But but you do you I not never, agree I never, like, that? Put wording. In. But but I but I'm also defin defining Muhammad as paedophile, and that's a definition. Okay, I'm saying um, that definition means. I, um, like, I'm going to say this. Am I going to say? Am I going to? Am I going to say that there's variance in the definition? Okay, you because you affirm there's no variance in the definition of cannibalism. Hang on, hang on. What's a woman to you? I'm sorry. What? A, Why is a woman to you? Someone. Like, well, you know, like we have gender fluidity, right? What yes, defines a woman? Do you believe in gender fluidity? Aren't. No, I don't believe. What do you mean gender fluidity? Look, the fact that like um, you can be um, various stages on the male-female spectrum. Do you believe in that? What the. F is that? No, okay, you don't believe No, no, that. I, I, okay. I believe because the, we no, know, saying, we understand, defines, but we what understand. Defines, what defines what well, a woman is? It's the chromosomes. <coughs> it's the chromosomes, so a scientific definition, right? Yeah, what? Okay, so because you're using, no, no, you're using, hang on, hang that's on. That's a measuring tool, it's a measuring tool. It's a measuring tool, it's a measuring tool, it's a measuring tool. So you're defining a woman by science, right? A biological and correct What is a child for you? What is a child to you? What do you mean, what is a child for me? Yeah, I'm saying, how do you define what a child is compared to an adult? In what regard? In legalistic terms or in developmental terms? So now why are you going because, to social contract? No, because hang on, hang on, hang on. You, when we're talking about what is a man and a woman... Because it's not my were, paradigm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When you were talking about a man and a woman, you were using clear scientific definitions that this chromosome, that this feature... Because that's objective, right? it doesn't change. But, um, but I'm saying, what when you're going Ain't to child, change. when you're going to a child and an adult, you're not using those same... So scientific paradigm you're not using the same scientific because age drawing. changes age is something that changes and it doesn't have a set it doesn't have a set timer it doesn't go at 140 sure. bpm you know sure. it doesn't go it doesn't so, have so a so set why, timer why is a child an adult what is the definition of a child and adult for you then what, in what, like, that's how, what I'm how saying do you, how do you define the transition from child to adult like what is the thing that makes someone an adult and not a child <laughs> you can't in terms, okay, no, I don't, I don't see the issue because I'm, I'm saying because my definition of a child and an adult. Okay, if you're asking physicality, then we're ask, we're talking about pu puber, pubertal, um, uh, pubertal. I don't know, you say like, pubert, pubertal, uh, pubescent. Um, that's it, pu prepubescent and postpubescent. Yeah. Um, and within that, within the the puberty process, as you were, as it will, and before that, is what we can consider a child and then a teen but still it's like it's like it doesn't matter if we defined it all set like do you know what i mean it doesn't matter if we set in stone every single last term mm. it still posits that muhammad was sexually inclined towards that which looks okay very small let me, let which me, is let very me, let me, let me, timid let me, address, and, let me address that so when you which define is, man and woman you use scientific premises when you define child and adult you use social constructs 
because what, they're moving because they're different things man woman ad- objective doesn't change all right unless you chop it off but what apology can't you know you, that's that's false because that's an, a completely unnaturalistic because we're talking about sure. naturalistic sure. principle sure. not sure. unnaturalistic principle sure. such sure. as being transgender which is totally unnaturalistic okay so when you're talking about age all right from a child to a like an adult right that is not a like child then adult no it is a process all right because it goes child teen you know it's a process in physical development which is something that is bound by temporal things you know because it's it takes time okay so the, the you're trying to say that how comes i can give a binary definition of man and woman when it is solely a boolean question true or false it has no other operator than true or false it and is child and true. adult is not true or false no yeah and it's not it's not because you're what you're trying to equivocate is the physical development the psychological so why development why do you have an issue with islam though if what it's not mean? true or false then why are you critiquing it on the basis no, because, of because, why are you critiquing because it why on still, the basis wait, because i still wait, 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 define I it talk, as I a talk. child I, I, why are you critiquing it on the basis of islam um, because allows so, this and this is false whereas you're just telling me now it's not true or false no because it's not about being true or false it's it's mediums child all right it has it's mediums it's still child do you understand it but you is, just said there's no but there's no true or false i mean you know i meant you, you know i meant you know as well that i'm also meant that in a specific individual because in two individuals as i stated earlier development doesn't occur at the same rate all right it doesn't occur at the same exactly, rate yeah. but it doesn't posit that there is any nine, 18 year old looking nine year old and there wasn't four, 14 years. I'm saying, Did you understand I'm saying, that? I'm saying at the age of nine, show psychology. me that it's impossible to age, uh, achieve puberty at the age That's of nine. That's an argument from silence though, because you're, you're asking. No, I'm like, saying you're the one came in, coming to me with all of this and then you're saying but, but, that but you just told me that oh, it's impossible for this, that, the other. But, but, I, if, but, but, but I can, I I can, I can you. give you a true or false if you, if you actually put it under a realistic paradigm, right? And my problem is actually mainly the mental because the physical, right? That's the that's sort of the man's problem because what that says, if the, if the man likes a smaller girl, that just says a lot about the man. Hang on, hang on. Right? Okay, let me just, so the, let woman, me just the woman's this. mental just before, state just before, can be destroyed. Just before you move on, trauma. You move in. Okay. Scientific. The Prophet wasallam, majority of his marriages were with widows and with elder women. You're saying okay? majority so, were women, so he wasn't as bad of a people. Should, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying you're applying. You're applying modernist, postmodernist thinking to Why a man. Why did he need a nine-year-old? One thousand four hundred years ago. One thousand four hundred years ago. Why did he need it? Did he want it? No. You're just. You're just. Look. Are you going to let me talk? You, you, I'm, I, I'm, I'm telling you the answers you were giving me. And by the way, you drew a and, false uh, uh, comparison. You're making it look there. like Aisha, Mother Aisha was so traumatized. She, Mother Aisha is I'm, has a I strong. I didn't say that she hang was. On, hang I hang said hang I didn't. You know, I said that's disingenuous. You know, I didn't say it was to her. I said that there is proof. The reason that I say that objectively, or at least on a larger scale, that paedophilia is wrong, is because of the trauma that it objectively I agree, causes. I agree that it's wrong in the modernist, postmodernist well, world. I don't have a. I don't have a psychological report. I don't have a psychological report. Do I? Do I have a psychological report on Aisha? No. I'm saying. You're applying post. You don't even realize you're not even a Christian. You're just a postmodernist, modernist person with a Christian flavor, right? Wait, what, so what, what, what do you mean a Christian flavor? Because look, look. But isn't Muhammad the example of all kind? Of exactly. All kind of Your example that. is a so, pedophile. So why is you're trying to justify age? it by making stupid, no, 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 stupid, you know, you stupid your, distinctions? Your, okay, Your okay, distinctions okay, are okay, ridiculous. Okay, so, so, okay. Can you shut up for a second? Because I'm going to talk. That's rude. You 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 told me off for being rude. I can tell you off for being rude. Do you understand that? Like, I mean, you, right, is it was a bit of a hit run, I grant you that. But yeah, you yeah, I do have to go. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you I'm not hitting you. Let me just talk to him. Just let me talk to him for a second. I did your argument, the space argument that I had. I'm sure I'm saying, I'm saying the modernist, postmodernist world that we live in right now, right? We're judging what defines what by our world now, right? I'm saying the world in a thousand years from now will not necessarily judge by the same standards that we live in now. and. But that would be more oh, what space age. Postmodernism is saying like it's relativistic, right? We're <laughs> saying more morality is absolute. Yes, yeah, so I'm, say, I'm saying right. modernist. I'm saying modernist is in like I think mm. from my understanding. But we're talking objective. Modernist. So basically, I'm saying the world that we live in now, right? The okay, way he, he's not sincere. Oh yeah. He's not yeah, sincere. he's not sincere. Don't talk. Well, him. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm talking he's to him. He's written down who is top menstruation. Yes. It says yes. those who this, have not no, menstruated. It's no, obviously referring to those who have not menstruated. Let's just get back to this. D- does, wait, does this so separate conversation involve me anymore? Are we, are we, are we done? It's kind of the same, but I'm going to finish off. I'll just wrap right, up right. in a sec. Okay, so this menstruation one, right? Yeah. There is, um, there are women that do struggle with menstruation. I know a woman. Have they menstruated? You cut, no. yeah, 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 
They never He's menstruate. Not kissing. Do you cut this but video up? Yeah, there is women that have how how, how much longer cut up? We were able to send we were able to send full file. I'm saying mature. We were able to send me full file. No, no, like send me full file. If they're mature women, yeah. Like full file without editing that in the entire. When you explain like that, that sounds a bit better than what that guy was saying because he was saying that that verse referred to women who have menstruated before but now they're not menstruated but you, you you can that you agree with me no, i'm saying i'm saying there is examples of women that have, have not menstruated yeah. yeah so you agree with me i think <laughs> but i do have to go but, but, no, but, but, like guys, yeah. but you are not sincere brother well, that's we'll the take it take it yeah, okay. Okay. but yeah okay anyway um let's wrap up let's wrap up are you is there your camera here as well no 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 i was just i just wanted i want to get the full file because sure, I know sure, sure. I'm not I'm, I'm not to discredit them. Um, well, I think it's not yeah, discrediting, yeah, yeah. but I do believe that the Dawa script. I, I do believe the Dawa videos can be cut up and misrepresenting yes. of yeah, people, of course, of course. and thus I'll, I was just requesting the the full vo uh, file of the video just in case anything is chopped up wrong. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so just to wrap up, right? Yeah. I, I'm just going to make one point, but like in your tradition, Mary was in some of your traditions, Mary was 12 when she married Joseph, who was 90, right? In, in, in some in of the, the Christian she, traditions, right? In what? So why don't you critique that? Why don't you clean up your own house? Because first we talk. Before? Because we talk. First of all, you're saying what? Okay, what Christian traditions? Can we can we establish this first? Because I like I like to have a clear paradigm. Well, it doesn't seem like you like a clear paradigm because you just. You didn't even ask because, me if, I've, Shia, uh, uh, if I have a Shia understanding of... No, because I, I did, I asked right him. Okay, well, let's, I asked let's, him. Just, let's just, okay, hang on, hang on. Because you know um, some Muslims don't believe that Aisha was nine. Yeah, right? I know. So, I, 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 Shias I, I, believe she was 18, so you didn't even ask me that. But anyway, anyway. I asked him when okay, you were okay, praying. Okay, 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 fair, 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 fair. Let's wrap up now, okay? So I, I was, um, if you seriously care about the Old Testament tradition, and do. you do care about That's why finding out if Islam is incompatible with, is compatible with the Old Testament tradition, I have this book. Right, mm -hmm. that you can look into. Yes. It's called Divine Diversity. And yeah, I'll gift it to you. Thank so you, bro. Look into this book, please. And Divine Diversity. It's written by a Jewish rabbi and mm -hmm. it talks about the commonalities between Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. Okay. So you can find all of that in the book. Um, in terms of your topics, um, I invite you to look into the Islam as it being the religion of Abraham. Um, mm -hmm. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the perfect example for all mankind. He came to obviously all I have moral disagreement, but sure, but, sure. but I that that's that's obviously oh, we, we don't have to reiterate that because we've yeah, already yeah. gone over we've already presented sure. the case. That's sure. I'm saying I'm saying he came with a message of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm -hmm. We believe Isa Alayhi Salam Jesus was a prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? Mm -hmm. He was a servant and a messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We believe. Um, I understand the Islamic belief. Yeah, I'm saying. Um, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said um, of Jesus, peace be upon him, that they are the most in similitude and they are like brothers of each other. So there is a lot of commonality there between the Prophet and the figure of Jesus, peace be upon him. Um, they both came with the message of one God. Um, I invite you to look into the Quran, as I showed you in Deuteronomy um, chapter 34. That I reconciled that with the. Whatever, but there's others, there. there's others I can go into. Because I don't go for solar scripture. Let's talk about so saying the Quran, the... the Quran is. If you don't, you don't go by solar scriptura because your scriptura isn't strong enough. So no, I'm giving you a religion. No. I'm giving you a religion. Do you know, that do you is, know that's not the point? Okay, because, you can, because there you are, are people that there are Protestants, especially in this part, that do even dominate many and most is Islamic philosophy. In their heads, in their heads, bro. Because well, I, I'm can, not even because Protestant, if, if, and I don't even think yeah. they make good arguments. I just say that. How can they make a good argument when page one of their Bible contradicts like the reality of the world? So anyway, but the, anyway. But to, to be fair, they can just say that I interpret it like X. So they they've actually got a more. It's page one of the Bible. Next, it's not literal. Okay, 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 okay. Next. Yeah, next. Okay. But, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, just um, uh, yeah. look into Islam. I just don't wanna, attack yeah. it. Don't look at it from like your lens. Try and look at it as unbiased I as have, possible. I have, I have, right? I have. I've just. That's why. I, that's why. It's I the best way to connect with the. Creator. That's why I resolved not to my moral, moral oh, presuppositions. Just, just, just my um. Come. Is it still recording? No, no. You still record? Yeah.